What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out our newest Pokemon, Toothless. Look at that, Gibble, the ground and dragon type Pokemon. Kick two or three of my Pokemon's asses. Very, very strong. Samveal as its effect. And it does have quite a few good attacks as a dragon slash ground type Pokemon. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to switch it, uh, or I'm going to give the experience share to Gibble, or Toothless, and just to, just to make it grow just quite a bit because, you know, dragon types are really, really hard to actually attack or to actually grow. Um, so yeah, uh, my number one fan, Toothless, I uh, can't remember, Toothless 13 or whatever. There you go, your dragon type Pokemon. I was thinking of getting somebody else, but you convinced me after a full year of uh, you saying, hey, get yourself a dragon type Pokemon. That's just me ranting, whatever. I don't care. But yes, guys, I got four or five Pokemon on the team, I believe. Oh, yes, in the last episode, I actually managed to hatch the egg uh, that contained Togepi, which is also great. And uh, now it is time to just move on right here because uh, <laughs> we need to move on. It's Tamara. So let's go ahead and test out our newest Pokemon. Two double oh, double dragon type Pokemon right here. Not really dragon type. And Crud, Pachirisu. Using that spark attack on my Hydra. You mother lover. You son of a bitch. Alrighty, so the taunt attack is here. And, uh, yeah, Hydra number four is not happy right now. So here we go. Dragon Rage attack. That will take quite a few. Bye bye Oh, crud. I almost defeated him. So here we go. Get it. Bite attack. And there's another spark attack just to add insult to injury. Now, my Pokemon are not the fastest just yet. But they are the strongest. I've just noticed that. I really did. And look at that. Chimchar defeated. Should have picked the Chimchar. Guys, why didn't you choose Chimchar? I wanted Chimchar. Now that I think of it, I really do. Eh, whatever, I love challenges. I really do. I do love challenges. So thank you guys for giving me my new Pokemon. Just playing. I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm ranting about anymore, guys. I'm just, you know, speaking out loud. That kind of stuff. Anywho, defeated you two. And there's a Pokemon trainer right there. But we get ourselves a potion, which is also great. And, uh, well, let's see. I just gotta heal my Pokemon right now, because... You know, Patrisu, dick, dick Pokemon. And, uh, well, let's see. I'm gonna have to give that quick claw back to uh, Donatello, because, you know, he's slow. And, uh, we got a Pokemon trainer right here wanting to battle us. This guy right here is coming up, and he's like, he just got out of Mount Cornet, but I've still got energy, bruh. Okay. Bring it. Just bring it. So here we go. Hiker Justin, not Justin Bieber, wants to battle us. And here we have Toothless. That's right, Toothless, the Gibble Pokemon. Now, I know it has teeth, but I named her after, or I named him after the Toothless uh, character from How to Train Your Dragons. Yes, it's a dedication. That and, uh, you know, super fan Toothless. I don't even know what, yeah, Toothless 13, I don't even know. If I messed up your name, very, very sorry. So, here we go, uh, let's see. Right, let's go with a Sand Tomb, and uh, just like that, Geodude self-destructs that asshole Pokemon. Wow. So as soon as we got Toothless, the sooner we lose him. So, huh. Ain't that great. Ain't that great. Ain't that really, really great. And here he comes out with a Nose Pass, which, you know, if Hydra had a Water-type attack, it would actually work. Unfortunately, we don't, so we're gonna have to go to Donatello. So now we're just gonna have to figure out who's faster in this uh, in this mug right here. And uh, there's that block attack, which will no longer will, will not allow me to switch out. And look at that, the quick claw works. Mega drain for the win. Oh yeah, I'm gonna drain you of your energy. Not all of it, but just some of it. And uh, well, there's that hardened attack. It's looking pretty cool defense rose or rises and here we go again mega drain for the win that's right how about that how about that how about that you're looking at me right now and how about that and uh, okay so you know it, it was it's a victory nonetheless but yeah we need to we need to revive our Pokemon 
Kind of bad. And luckily we do have a revive. We got that from a Wayward Cave. Sorry about that, Toothless. Very, very, very sorry about that. And, uh, well, let's go ahead and use that Super Potion. And, uh, well, let's see. There's something else right here. Okay, we have to go there. So here we go into the Mount Kuro. Oh, shoot. Never mind. So, hello, hello there. It's Don, and she's asking us about our Pokedex. It's hopeless. Nice to see you. Which hand do I have uh, the VS Seeker? It really doesn't matter which hand she has it in. Just pick one, and then she'll give you a VS Seeker, which is an item that you can use to actually rematch any kind of trainer outside of uh, caves or whatnot, which is also cool. And, of course, she also gives us a dowsing machine app. Never mind! We didn't have the, uh, the app. Huh. Must have been thinking two episodes ahead, because I said that in the last episode. My bad. Anywho, she's looking at our Pokedexes and all that stuff. She's saying that it's counting us, on us, and whatnot, which is cool. It's good. So let's go ahead and check out that dowsing app. Uh, so it's right here. Now, if you press onto the middle, you'll actually see the dot. And we're like two steps away from it. And look at that. We find ourselves a great ball. So it's actually a very good item. And there is another item hiding right here, but... It looks like it's going to be right over to the, the bottom side of the screen. So here we are in Mount Coronet. One side of Mount Coronet. And uh, there is an item right here, which is an ed energy powder. And, uh, well, more Pokemon attacking us. Remember, guys, I actually edit out the Pokemon battles because, yeah, don't want to deal with the wild Pokemon right here. So, uh, let's see. Do I have a Repel? Yes, I do. I have Repels. Don't want to me like I really don't want to mess with these Pokemon right here. So here we have another re uh, revive that we need. And uh, well, just look at that. According to my theory, Matt Coronet is where Sinnoh began. Huh? A newly created world, space expanded, just strife, all that stuff. What will become of this world? You know, I'm I'm just paraphrasing right here, guys. But this guy right here, he. You can tell that he wants to create his own world. He is a very, very weird individual. Not really weird, but just, you know. In my opinion, he's probably more sinister than most leaders that you, you would find in a Pokemon series. But he wants to create his own world. That is, that is his goal right there. Now, as you can see, the only place we can actually go to right now is the exit way right there. And uh, it's mainly because we don't have a surf attack. And once we get that surf, we can travel anywhere right here in Mount Coronet. But this will actually lead uh, lead us to the next area of this whole adventure right here. And, uh, well, there's a hidden item right here. Nothing. So I basically used Bidu for nothing. Well, to break boulders and whatnot. And, uh, well, here we are. Here we go. I'm going to continue battling everybody right here. So I'm going to switch it out with Toothless. And wow, that guy completely ignored us. So he didn't want anything. Okay. Let's try this again. Stop ignoring me. Alrighty. Homeboy, if I beat you, he wants us to hang out or whatnot. I don't even know. Okay, so here we go. Bring it on. Hiker Jonathan coming out with an Onyx. And here comes Toothless using the Dragon Rage, and, uh, wow, why are you using Sandstorm, bro? Why? Why, 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 why? Okay, so, Dragon Rage, doesn't matter if you're, you're strong in defense, it doesn't really matter. Yes, I will defeat you, easily. And, uh, okay, so here we go, another Dragon Rage, and there you go, say, good, uh, say goodbye to Onyx right there. And as you can see, lots of experience points for our Pokemon, which is always good right there. And, uh, well, I'm just going to keep on battling everybody right here. I need to. I need to grow levels. My Pokemon need to grow levels because we need to be the very best. Like no one ever was. To catch them is my real test. You guys already know. <laughs> I love singing that song. It's a, it's, it, it, it's, it's, it's. It's an awesome, it's a pro, it's a classic. Alrighty, so there it is, guys. Foresight. And I'm just gonna keep on attacking with the with the same attack. Same attack as always, you know. So there we go. Seismic toss onto us. Why would you do that? And uh Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty, so there there's that dragon race that we needed, and uh 
Well, look at that. Toothless grows to level 20, which is also good. Very, very good. And, uh, well, we move on right here. So who's next? Who's next? Just using, uh, well, we're gonna be switching out our Hydra tube to Toothless and whatnot. And, uh, I'm still searching for hidden items right here because it could be a potential uh, hidden item around somewhere. And here we have a Great Ball, which is also great. And, uh, now we're just gonna be moving it on right here. And here we have another guy, a hiker, wants to battle us right here. Alright, bring it. Just bring it. Okay, alrighty, so here we go. Hiker Robert wants to come out with his nose pass, and I just, I've chosen the wrong Pokemon. I really have, because, yeah. You know, I was kind of optimistic and, and whatnot. Very, very optimistic. And so, there's that hardened attack. Doesn't really do much for us since we're, right now we're only a physical, uh, we're only a physical attacker. And, uh, well, there you go. Hardened attack again. So, at this point in time, we're not... We're not going to be able to just... We're not going to be able to do anything to this guy. Unless he just continues doing a uh, hardened attack right here, which is pretty lame. So, let's go again. Another bite attack. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's all this guy can do right here. Oh, my God. I hate you. So, yeah, you flinched. So, let, let's go again with another attack right here. And flinching. He's flinching. Okay. Alrighty. Everything's working. Say goodbye to Nose Pass. That's right. Hell yeah. Alrighty. So that's another victory for us right there. And, uh, well, now I'm just going to be, f well, still searching for hidden items right here. Which, uh, you know, that won't be the case. So let's just break this and uh, continue on you know, finding the actual items that we can actually see right here. And look at that. We find ourselves in Ether. Now, in the last episode, it took me quite a while to find a new Pokemon that I wanted to capture. And uh, in this episode, it happened just as well. And, well, as you can see, guys, my next Pokemon that I'm going to be capturing right here is a male Ralts. Now, why a male Ralts? In Generation 4, it was revealed that Ralts, if it was a male Ralts, it can actually uh, evolve into a different Pokemon if you use a certain stone. And a lot of you guys have been wanting me to just, you know, grab uh, Ralts, a male Ralts, and actually use this Pokemon for my team. As you can see, it is the feeling Pokemon. Horns capture warm feelings of people and Pokemon, and it warms up slightly. Now, the nickname, it's very obvious, in the last walkthrough in Pokemon Emerald, named it Gaia. So, it's only fitting if we do the same thing here. Gaia the Fierce Knight. That's right. Gaia the Fierce Knight. And, uh, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna do it in lower caps. Completely forgot about that. Jesus. Excuse me, guys. Excuse me. So, let me just fix this up right here. Alright, um, let's see, let's see. What am I doing? Yeah. <laughs> I'm naming it... <laughs> I'm naming it Gaia. Oh, I, I don't want to name it like that. Holy crud. Okay, so lowercase Gaia. Yep, for the win. Lowercase Gaia. There it is. Gaia number two. Where is... Okay, uppercase. Here we go. And Gaia number two. So there it is, guys. Our next Pokemon on our team. Gaia number two. And, uh, well, like what I was trying to say, guys. It took me another... 20 minutes to find this Pokemon right here. I was only getting females. And uh, as you can see, Gaia number two, speed is its a big thing. And also knows confusion and teleport. And it is, it's just three levels away from evolving, which is also great. Um, of course, my intentions is to evolve it into a, uh, what was it? What's a, uh, a Gallade at the end of its uh, evolution line right there. But we need a shiny stone to actually evolve it into that. So I need to find both an Everstone to prevent it from evolving because I know I'm going to be passing level 30. And uh, yeah, a shiny stone, which we will be finding later on. So let's move on right here. Now we got people who want to battle us. I want to do a double battle right here. And uh, this guy won't let me. So let's just keep it at that. It is what it is, guys. So let's do this. Bring it. There we go. 
And, uh, well, let's go ahead and try out guy on number two. Unfortunately, we can't because Mime Jr. is also, is also a Psychic-type Pokemon. There we go. And uh, Intimidate is good. Yeah, okay. Alrighty, sorry about that. I'm just sending a message to a person who won't stop bugging me about certain things. And there we go, a bite attack. Look at that. Say goodbye, Mr. Mime Jr. or Mime Jr. And uh, everybody's getting experience points. So now, I hope you guys are happy because I think, yeah, we just added, yeah. So that's five Pokemon on our team now. And, uh, you know, you guys already know what my intentions are, you know. Gaia number two is going to be a, a beautiful Gallade. And, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully by the time it reaches level 30, I already have an Everstone on it. That way it doesn't evolve into Guard Devour. And, uh, look at that. Bonsley is just, you know, using that Flail Attack like if it was nothing. And, uh, Confusion again. And there's that Flail Attack because, why not? Flail Attack is also awesome right there. And... Alrighty, so here we go. We're gonna be switching out because it's still not strong enough. And here we go, Hydra number four, ready to kick some ass right here, right now. Let's do it. And, uh, wow, low kick below the belt. Why would you do that, Bonsley? Why? Why would you do that? And there we go, bite attack for the win. That is awesome. That is gravy. That is gravy great right there. And uh, everybody gaining experience points, which is also awesome, guys. Very, very awesome. And, uh, well, there's another Pokemon attacking us, and, <laughs> yeah, I didn't edit this one out. Why well, didn't I edit this one out? Crud. I don't even know. But like I said, guys, this episode took me another 40 minutes, I guess, to find Gaia number two. Guy. So, I'm gonna, let's see, what am I gonna do? Yeah, super potion right here. Let's get that super potion. Let's go. Let's get this. And uh, there's some uh, berries right here, like Nana berries. Those are yummy. Don't even know what the what it does, but it's also awesome. Raspberries, which I also like, which I don't know what it does too. And uh, this one right here, Bluckberries, which is also awesome. Yet yeah, I still don't know what it does. And uh, will let's see. There's uh two peanut berries. Love them too. Don't know what it does as well. And, uh, well, we got another Pokemon trainer right here that we have to battle. So let's just bring it. Let's go. Let's do it. So, Aroma Lady Hannah wants to battle us with uh, Roselia. And I'm gonna do this right here. Gaia number two, meet Roselia. You got the advantage. Almost got Stun Sport. Good gravy. So, here we go. Confusion attack, and uh, it, it's super effective, but it doesn't take him out completely, which kind of pisses me off because this is what happens right here. We get hurt. And here we go. That's another super effective. And uh, there comes that Mega Drain, which I don't like uh, being used on me. And uh, oh dang, it takes a huge chunk out of my, uh, my HP, so... That means that I'm probably going to have to switch. And no, that was a critical hit. Eat it, Roselia. Eat it. That's right. How's that feel? And, uh, well, she's going to be coming out with a combi. So let's go ahead and switch out right here because we need to. We really, really, really need to. And uh, here we go with Toothless. Another good addition. Our awesome addition to our Pokemon. And, well, she, he or she, no, it's a she, has a male combi. And there's that gust attack, which... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Jesus. Come on. Here we go. Bug bite kicking our butt right now. Come on. Come on. Finish him off right here. And that is how you do it. That is how you do it. There you go, Toothless. So my new, my newest Pokemon right here, they're, they're, they're putting in some work. I'm actually liking it. And, uh... Well, now I gotta heal them up because, uh, yeah. Well, they're not the strongest, but they are putting in some work, which I'm actually how I'm actually happy for. And uh, yeah, I don't have to use the same old Pokemon uh, as uh, often anymore. And uh, this guy right here will give us an odd keystone, which we'll eventually use later on in our like post-game stuff. And um, 
Well, here's the Berry Master's house, which, well, let's go ahead and take a look what what this guy has to offer right here. And uh, yes, he see he's the Berry Master has berries. He's and I'm deserving of one. He gives us a Pomeg Berry, which is pretty awesome. I'm pretty sure of. And uh, well, gotta read about the mulches. And uh, well, don't really know much about mulches. I know that it actually happens. Or actually, have, uh, it works for growing berries and all that stuff. So I bought myself a mulch. Not going to be uh, using it because I really don't know. Yeah, don't. Yeah, I don't really use it much. And here we have a person that gives us a Poketech uh, berry searcher, which, you know, you, you can actually uh, search for different kinds of berries around uh, Sinnoh. And I just, I'm just looking for it right now. Hold on. Where is it? Oh, there you are. So I believe the areas in black, or the dark areas, that's where you can actually find the berries. And, uh, yeah, I, I, guess that's what, I guess that's what it is right there. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this area right here. We got ourselves a new Pokemon, and uh, let's talk to this lady. Ah, yes, she's talking about Heart Throne City. City? Heart Home or Heart Throne City. And we're going to be going there for the contest, right? Wrong? I don't know. Heart home, yes, it's heart home. And uh, bam, look at this, look at this Pokemon. It's a Baneri, I think. Yes, Baneri loves me. And she's going back into her, her ball. And that is a contest judge telling us that the contests are being held right here. Which, I don't know, I'm still stuck up on it. I'm still on the fences about it. And uh, well, more talk about the contest, which I really don't care. Uh, homeboy right here is going to tell me about the contest hall, which I will let him take me to the area. So, um, you know what? I'm going to stop right here. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.